All right, here we go for part two of Santorini's best restaurants. This time we're talking about the mid-priced one. So one main dish will be around 25, 30 euros. First, we have the Cave of Nicholas, located in Akrotiri, within walking distance of the Red Beach and the excavation site of Akrotiri. It's located by the water and just look how cute this place is. And just for you to know, that little boat you see there, that's the water taxi that takes you to all the beaches of Akrotiri. So the Red Beach, white beach and black beach. So, back to the cave of Nicholas. My favorite dish there is the moussaka. It tastes amazing, and that's because they add two local Santorini products. Chloro cheese, which you see here grated on the top, and white eggplants instead of the usual purple ones. Delicious stuff. To get there, either you go with your rental car, in which case you will park here in this large free parking area, or you go by bus and hop off at the Akrotiri excavation site, on the Akrotiri bus line. Next restaurant is Rosas in Vorvulos. They serve Greek traditional food, but always with a twist to it. So even if you've already tried a lot of Greek food in your life, Rosas will still manage to surprise you. My two favorite dishes there are the Juvetsi, which is a beef stew, and then this homemade ravioli with squid ink, that's why they're black, stuffed with feta cheese. But mind that Rosas only cooks local and seasonal products, so their menu keeps changing, and I can promise that those two meals I just showed you will be available when you go. But I mean, everything they make is super refined, so you won't be disappointed. To get to Rosas, you need a car or a taxi. There is a bus going to Vurvulus, but only one every three or four hours, so that's not really an option. Next, we have Lefkes, located in Finikia, which is a very cute little village, by the way. So if you go to Lefkes, definitely also spend some time walking some of these alleys, you won't regret it. My favorite dish there is a pretty strange one when you hear the ingredients, but trust me, it's amazing. It's ravioli stuffed with pears in a gorgonzola cheese sauce and marinated shrimps. So so good. I also really like this black spread you see here that they bring you as an appetizer. It's made of black olives and honey. Didn't know this combination was even possible, but yeah, turns out that olives with honey taste delicious. And then something else I really like, and I think it's kind of their best seller, uh, or these papardelles, which Italians call tagliatelle, uh, in parmesan sauce with slow-cooked beef. Very, very nice. Oh, and by the way, Lefkes has a sunset view. And speaking of sunset dinners, many of you have been asking me what's the best time to arrive at a restaurant. My answer is you should arrive one hour and 15 minutes before sunset time. That's the best timing in my opinion. So how can you get to Lefkes? Well, if you're staying in Ia, it's a 20 minute walk. And if you're not in Ia, either you go by car, in which case you'll have to park over here in the public parking of Finikia, or you go by bus and you need to hop off at the Finikia bus stop, which is on the Ia bus line. All right, the fourth restaurant is Aroma Avlis, located in Exohonia. It's actually part of a winery called Artemis Taramolegos. So if you feel like going to a wine tasting before your meal, this is a great two-in-one type of place. It's a very green and relaxed area. Plus, they have this very nice sea view. My favorite dish there is called Ramopilafo. It's something like a lamb risotto to which they add Greek yogurt. Ramopilafo is the traditional meal for weddings on the island of Crete. And even though it's delicious, it's pretty rare to find a restaurant that actually has it on their menu, especially outside of Crete. So yeah, if you're a lamb fan, definitely order this hidden gem. And then something else I like is their pasturbado kefteres, which are these little pockets uh, stuffed with a mix of spicy meats. If you're a meat lover and you like strong tastes, this will hit the spot for you. How can you get to Aromavlis? Well, if you come by car, they have their own parking. Uh, and if you come by bus, it's the Exogonia bus stop on the Camari line. The fifth restaurant is called Salty Bone. This place only serves fish and the quality is so, so high. Like this, for instance, it's called Opson. It's raw tuna on barley rusts. Very simple, but so, so good because the tuna is so fresh. And then something else that really surprised me, especially asparagus with anchovies and, wait for it, black chocolate. Yeah, crazy mix, I know, but really delicious. To get to Salty Bone, if you have a car, it's super easy, you can park just in front. Bus-wise, not so great. Vlihala is like Vurvulos. There's only one bus every couple of hours, so yeah, it's either by car or by taxi. Now, very important, 
if you go to one of these places or any restaurant in Santorini, as a matter of fact, how long ahead should you book a table and how should you be contacting them? Well, for lunch, it can be pretty much last minute. You'll be fine. But for dinner, definitely one or two weeks prior, even earlier if you're coming between June and September. But don't go beyond three weeks. That's kind of the maximum. Restaurants won't take reservations that early. Now, how should you contact a restaurant? Well, most of them have a website, but not many of those have an actual booking system. And when that's the case, I've realized that many of you just send out an email with your reservation and you assume you're all set. But that's not a very reliable way of doing things in Greece. Calling is what you should do. And if for whatever reason you can't make the call, maybe because your phone operator doesn't allow it from abroad, no worries, you can ask your hotel to do it for you. It's common practice. You can, of course, try to send a mail first, but if you don't get any answer, that definitely means your table has not been reserved. Okay, so I've done quite a few other videos on Santorini's restaurants. For instance, the best ones with the Caldera view. And I've grouped all of those under this playlist here. And if you want to know what to eat in Santorini, stuff you can only find there or which tastes much better there, like white eggplants, for instance, you can click here. And there you go. That's it for today. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.